Sometimes the message of freedom can sound discouraging. Many of my own videos don't give a positive outlook. Realistic, factual, rational, yeah, but they're not necessarily a soundbite of optimism, and I'll be the first to admit it. The thing is, we need to help people see the fact that governments are not a positive marginal benefit to society, that they're actually a harmful added cost in our lives. Statism is a form, a version of slavery, and people need to understand this fact. Reality isn't never, never land, so it is inevitable that when I or anyone else in the freedom movement speaks on a topic, it is often our discussions won't make you feel like having a birthday party right afterwards. Not that these horrific facts aren't important, they are. But it's also important that we focus on bringing out the positive benefits of a free society to give ethical, economical, and philosophical explanations that debunk all past myths. Focusing on the importance of individualism and personal freedom, self-ownership, voluntarism, peaceful interactions, explain possible operations for resolution and protection services, explain the non-aggression principle. We need people to understand that they have worth, that they are not serfs to some collective, that they can give freely to whoever they want, but they should never be forced to do so. That we are all individuals, and we all have different, subjective tastes and flavors that one size does not fit all. That every human should have the right to control their own lives. Ironically enough, freedom is not a negative message at all. It's full of optimism, full of tangible gains, endless possibilities. You have reasons to be exuberant. The solution is to educate those around us out of the madness of good statism. There is no such thing. And the sooner people grasp the fact that the government is not there for them, that it is nothing but aggressive violence on peaceful people who simply disagree, that it is brainwashing, that it is threats on peaceful people, taxation is theft, that statism is murder, that it resembles thuggery and mafias because it is a mafia. The sooner people level with these facts, the sooner civilization can advance. That's the only thing holding us back, people. Our own minds. My job is to spread facts. It's not physically hampering to say these facts. Most people have no problem with their mouths operation. But it's hard to bust out of your mental shell. To stand up against a system that's beaten you down mentally for so long, in many cases for decades. The hardest part of spreading the message of freedom is facing status to outnumber you, standing up for the non-aggression principle to groups who have never even researched the ideal in depth. It can be difficult, it can be hard, but the message of freedom is worth it because the message of freedom is positive. It is truly optimistic. And someday, voluntarists will not be outnumbered. I know it feels like we're all trapped in this lie, that it'll always be this way, but it doesn't have to be this way. Today we can change, today you can change, for the better, towards the non-aggression principle. This is a message of love. It offers prosperity and peace. Freedom offers you your own life back. All you have to do is understand you are worth more than any words can describe that you do not have the right to own someone else and that no one else has the right to own you. That we are all able to do as we wish as long as we do not infringe on others. That you own yourself. How much more positive can you get?